Hello. Hello. And welcome to What, what I, I Learned, Learned This week. week. This week, how to set goals you can keep. Twenty seventeen was an incredible year for us. We did so many exciting things we never thought we'd get to, and made so many new friends. It's just been amazing, and we think it's mostly down to the fact that we set really clear goals at the beginning of the year. So we thought it'd be useful for you guys for us to run through some of the common pitfalls people make when setting their goals. So, Mike. Yeah. I'm setting my New Year's resolution. Oh no. And I want to be a better person, get healthier, and get better at art. They're great goals, aren't they? Mm -hmm. How do you measure those? I guess I was too vague. When you can't quantify what your goal is, then how do you know you've achieved it? So what, say I narrow it down and say, I want to get better at drawing hands. How do I do that? Well, you could set yourself the goal of filling a sketchbook of drawings of hands, and then once the sketchbook is full, you know you've achieved that goal. And through the byproduct of drawing so many hands, you'll have improved. If you wanted to get healthier, maybe you could learn to cook five healthy dishes that you didn't know how to cook before. You're more likely to cook more often those meals. You've adventured yourself to... I'm so shit at videos! Uh, she's so good. <laughs> she's so good. You can get better at videos by doing lots yeah. of them. <laughs> so true. You're going to make lots of videos and get better at making videos, we promise. I think I've got it. Measurable goals. So let's say my goal for this year is I'm going to run for an hour every morning. Wow, that sounds ambitious to me. What if you miss a morning? <laughs> then I guess I failed. Maybe I was too ambitious. So at the beginning of the year, it's really easy to set yourself really massive ambitious goals because it feels like the more extreme a change you make, the more extreme your results are gonna be. But that is not necessarily true. Because the bigger your goal, the easier it is to fall short of that. And it can be disheartening and lead you to not want to pursue the goal anymore. And we don't want that. Mm -mm. So the solution to this is to know yourself, know your limits, be honest, look back over the year that you've just had and think to yourself, what kind of person am I? What do I enjoy? I tell you what I don't enjoy. What do you not enjoy? Going to the gym. Going to the gym for an hour every day probably isn't gonna last for very long. Maybe it's better for me to enroll in some martial arts classes. Even just to set myself three hours a week of exercise of my choice so I could dance to some music, which I enjoy. Or I could go on a bike ride, which I enjoy. All of that kind of stuff I would find easier to do than going to the gym because I know myself and I know that I hate going to the gym. If you have goals you can look forward to, you're more likely to keep them than if you have goals that you dread. Yes to ambition, but be careful of being too ambitious. Give yourself the beginning steps of the change rather than the insurmountable change at the end to aspire to. Yeah, small steps. Big two, big mountains. Okay, so goals need to be not too ambitious and they need to be specific rather than vague. Let's say my goal is that I want to cook together Tuesdays and Thursdays. Well, what happens if something crops up on Tuesday or Thursday and you're not able to cook together? I guess I fail my goal. So what happens if you add in a contingency that is, hey, we're gonna cook twice a week, and therefore if something comes up on the Tuesday or Thursday, it's okay, you got Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Making sure your goal is flexible is to account for all the little unexpected things that happen in life. Illnesses, family visits, maybe you go on holiday, maybe you want to go to visit family for New Year. Sometimes unexpected stuff just happens. Yeah. It's not your fault, you shouldn't have to sacrifice your goals for it. So last year, 2017, we wrote our goal list on a whiteboard and we just ticked off the different goals as we completed them through the year. It felt good. It felt good. So we thought it'd be cool to show you guys this list and also to go through which goals we completed and which ones we didn't manage to do and why that was. Yay! So here's a reproduction of the list. Ooh. In sketchbook form. <laughs> Tell a story in comic book form. Oh, did you do that? I did! <gasps> I made Girl in the Glim, book yeah. one, which I'm super duper proud of. And it was really, really hard to make, but through careful scheduling and tons and tons of hard work, I managed to do it. But you'll notice that this goal 
I made sure that it was flexible enough so that if I didn't have time to tell the massive story I wanted to with Girl in the Glim, I could tell a shorter story and still complete the goal. Yeah. So that's why the wording is tell a story in comic book form rather than write this massive saga. Finish animator grump. This was a project that we kind of started in November. It was something we already knew we were going to do. It kind of gave us an early win on our list. If you watched my last video, you'll know the importance of early wins in keeping motivation up. But this gave us an early win early in the year to be able to be like, we ticked one off, we did a goal, and we're off to a good start with this year. Animated Grump was also a massive milestone for me in terms of I got to actually animate something for the Game Grumps, which I've wanted to do forever. So that felt amazing and I met a lot of really cool animators through that. It also had a lot of effects that we didn't anticipate. Once we realised that the Game Grumps were going to publish the video on their own channel, which is awesome, uh, we thought, hey, we should have a YouTube channel as well so that we can upload our clip and point people to the work we're doing. Um, and that's when we decided to make Dog and Swift, the YouTube channel you're watching now. Once we had a YouTube channel, we also started doing the morning streams because it seemed natural for me to wake up and do some animation in the morning anyway. And those streams led us to a massive community of awesome animators that we're now really, really proud to be a part of. I think this project is probably the one which has changed our lives for the most this year. It was a good one. Make Stone Thrower 8 page mini comic. Stone Thrower 8 page mini comic was one of my goals. And as I was thumbnailing the comic, it spiraled out of the eight pages that I had initially set out for myself. And as the year wore on, we had more and more project commitments come on top. And I unfortunately didn't manage to make this. So moving forward into this year, I still want to make a story in comic form, so I'm going to tell a different story that I'm more passionate about that I've been thinking about for years, and this year I'll be making that as a 24-page comic. Table at a convention! Swift and I had been intending on tabling at a convention for a number of years, specifically a comics one after attending the Lakes International Comics and Arts Festival, and this year was when we finally decided to go for it. We booked our table for Thought Bubble, and this gave us a very definite milestone in the year that we had to aim for. Because we knew we wanted to do Thought Bubble this year, I knew I wanted to go to Glim ready for Thought Bubble this year, so I knew that I needed it ready for a certain date, which meant that I could schedule backwards when I was figuring out how long it would take me to do it. So that really helped me make my schedule as well. Those two goals kind of became symbiotic and interwove. It was pretty neat. So I knew that even if I didn't finish my book in time, being artists, we could still put our time into making something else for the table, like prints or a shorter yeah. comic or something similar. Make a Patreon. So we managed to make a Patreon account and a Patreon profile. Oh, oh my god! It's been so cool! It's awesome! We've been documenting the things we've been doing on the Animorning streams and the development on Girl in the Glim and just posting updates on there. And with the support of all the people that have like helped us out, it's been really good. Just kept us. You guys. Let us go on. You know who you are. Thank you very much. All the other projects fed into it and gave us kind of a development blog thing going on. So yeah. all of our other goals helped to make this goal a possibility. We're looking forward to improving it and putting up more content and sharing more insights into what we do in 2018. Crop to double Tuesday, Thursday. We failed because we didn't make our goal flexible enough. We found that things kept coming up on Tuesdays and Thursdays that we couldn't shift and we ended up then just not being able to do it and we just failed the goal. Our deadlines meant that we were just convenience fooding or, you know, just eating out of a bucket. However, however, lately we have been cooking more often and it's been really fun and we're hoping to continue to do that in the next year. It's been super fun and we found new things to make together and we're just going to continue doing that because that seems to work for us to have it less formalised. So find what works for you. Make a weekly video series. You're watching it right now. I really wanted to do like a weekly podcast or video. I wasn't quite sure what I wanted it to be, but I knew I wanted something weekly and it turned into the Wiltwurst. It took me a while to work up the courage to do it and to get over my own self doubt. But once I did it, it was super fun and awesome. And I've had a great time doing them and I hope you guys have enjoyed them. So that was totally worth it, and I hope these continue for a long time into the future. So you saw our goals for 2017, now we're gonna show you our goals for 2018. Oh, wow.
complete girl and a glim book two and three it seemed to naturally come on from the fact that we completed book one last year but this year i'm going to try and get books two and three of the glim done so fingers crossed and i'll be just showing you guys all the development for that on the patreon so you can follow along let's do it Draw 60 bare naked ladies. This year I started painting bare naked ladies, which is figurative art combined with bare heads. And it's been a really fun experience trying to improve my skills and learn from them. And I want to start making more of those next year to collect into a book. So my goal for this year coming is to do at least 60 bare naked ladies and have those collected into a PDF. Hire at least one person to work on a project. I met a lot of amazing artists this year who haven't necessarily got any commercial work on their reel yet and something I really really want to do in the coming year is get into a position where I can actually hire someone to work with me on a project so they can get work for their reel, I get to work with them which is awesome, they get experience and money to do it. Um, yeah. Yay. So like, I'll never ask anyone to volunteer to work on a project with me but I would love to get into a position where I can pay someone or hopefully more than one person to work on something with me at least one person at least one tell a story in comic form raven king raven king is a story i've wanted to tell for a number of years and i'm going to aim to tell the prologue of it in comic form this year it follows a young girl as she is uh, lost in a forest and it's got norse mythology mixed in and she's going to be learning that letting go isn't necessarily forgetting as ravens Start studio days. Studio days are days where we stream from the beginning of the day right through to the end and set ourselves a small mini project that day that we think we can get done within the time. A behind the scenes look at our process and our pipeline, doing an entire thing within a day rather than just one aspect of the process. Sort of to emulate the feeling of what a studio would be like where you can sort of see us or work alongside us and we'll chat throughout the day and answer questions as well. We'd be doing them once, maybe twice a month max yep um so we're excited to try that out maybe it will be great maybe it will fail we we'll hope you're along for the ride either way we're gonna try we're gonna give it a shot sonic reanimated all of last year i was waiting and waiting for someone to make a sonic the hedgehog reanimated project and no one did so i decided that i would just screw it i'll organize it myself so i can be on this with you guys so look out for it in the new year, I'm going to do a Sonic the Hedgehog Underground reanimated. Come and help me make it good! Do a game Grumps animated. India's been wanting to do a Game Scrub animated for forever and Aaron recently put out a call. So it's on our goal list this year, we're going to make a Game Grumps animated. I want to combine some 3D and 2D elements in the next animation and see how much we can push what we could do before and just explore and experiment with it. Compose three songs. I really, really love music and singing and writing songs, but I haven't allowed myself to do it for a long time because I feel like doing things which aren't animating is somehow distracting to my goal. But I also recently met a lot of inspiring people who are my animation heroes and they make time for hobbies. So you know what? This year, I'm gonna write three songs. Whoa. They may not be good, but I'm gonna do it. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna, get them on the channel, so that's gonna happen at some point. Gonna write some songs, it's gonna be good and it's gonna be better than this song. Visit America. We're gonna be in America this year, at some point, it's gonna happen. <laughs> we hope. We understand this is a bit of a big goal and also unlikely to happen since we have not much money to spare, but we figured we'd put it out there. Into say, the universe. Hey. Hey. We want to go to America, so it's on our goal list. Maybe something will happen, maybe we'll get there somehow. I don't know. It's just something to aim for, you know? More so, we would really like to go somewhere for New Year. Fingers crossed next time we shoot one of these videos, it will be somewhere amazing. And the last point... Complete ABC Music Collaboration. Some people may be aware, some people may not be aware, that we started doing a collaboration with some friends and colleagues called the ABC Music Collaboration and this is going to be our early win for this year to get the ball rolling on our goal list. 
So we're going to finish each of our shots that we're animating and also bring together all the other shots that everyone's completing on time. So look out for that in early January. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, so that is our goal list. We try to keep it not too ambitious. We try to keep it flexible. Flexible and we try to keep it specific. We wish you guys all the best of luck with your goals. And if you do have a list, please feel free to post it below. We would love to see your list and see what you're going to be up to next year. Thanks for listening to our goals. We hope it was inspiring. We hope that our tips helped you to make your own goals and best luck with fulfilling them. We can all do it together this year. May the next year be filled with adventure! adventure.